quit call, people quit calling me, man. During my broadcast. And I'm about to, I was balling out for a second. The way he fell, though, it didn't even look like he got hurt. But he just broke that shit like six years ago. So two thousand ten. Break that shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, he went them damn shoulder pads on. But he started, or he fell though. He, the way he fell though. He didn't even put his hands out. He just took the ball. I am back. I'm back. I keep, uh, my bad. I keep getting damn calls. What's up? Drum rock. What's happening? Laura. Hey, Laura. How are you? Yeah, we back. We back up and running. Yeah, man. I keep, keep getting phone calls. Keep getting phone calls doing my broadcast, man. I'm, whew. man, they need to quit. But that was an important phone call, so I had to take that one. But yeah, man, y'all look at this, Rich Eisen. Look, they don't look too happy. Her cousin doesn't look too happy. Neither does RG three. I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, man. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> oh, man. I might have to put that cowboy helmet on. You know what I mean? Might have to, might have to put that helmet on. Got to get myself in some shape. Get these hammies right. Got to get these hammies right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all got to tune in to the Rich Eisen Show. It's about to get real. Yeah, hey, it's about to get real. What's up, everybody? What's happening? I see we got a lot of Cowboy Nation up in here. Rich Eisen Show, when will it air? I don't know. Uh, y'all check, uh, uh, go, go on Twitter. And uh, go to the at Rich Eisen show. Y'all question, uh, yeah, shoot him a question and ask him, um, you know, when is this going to air? I know I'm about to go on in like seven, like in seven minutes, six minutes. Thank you, Laura. I'm trying to look, you know, trying to look the best I can, you know what I mean? Trying to look the best I can while I can. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man, you know, let's do this. Let's do this. We about to do this. We about to go live here in a few minutes. So y'all tune in. Uh, I know it's the Rich Eisen show people. Go to Rich Eisen at Rich Eisen show and. I'm at Tara Lawrence on Twitter and Instagram. We're going to be talking a lot of Hall of Fame stuff, um, some Cowboy good. stuff. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. What's up? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm broadcasting on my. Uh, oh, sorry. It's all good. Come on in. We're Come live. on in. We're yeah, live. We, we live. Yeah, I'm sipping on my, my cart, my Starbucks. Mm hmm. Yeah. I just want to show you some topics. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're about to talk about some topics for the show. That's my man right there. Just say what's up, Drew. How are you? This is Drew. Good to yeah. see you. 
So we're about to talk about some topics, you know, for the show. This is how it all goes you down. Make, you want to make a guess what we're talking about? What's that? You want to guess what we're talking about? Uh, of course. <laughs> let's let's do it. Yeah. Let's guess. Can you guys guess what we're going to be talking about today? Let's see. Uh, so I, think I know it what might the have number one. To do. Who can guess the number one talk? Uh, the number one topic that we will be talking about today. Just guess. Might be Tony Romo related. <clears throat> All right. So let me pull this up for you. Did you hear uh, Jerry's comment about uh, feeling low as a cricket's a crippled cricket's ass? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't hear it. I, yes. I, that's how low he feels. Hey, man. See, hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't know. You guys need to cue this up. Tony, I'm going to give you a reason why Tony Romo's injury could have been avoided. If you cue the play up, watch. He makes, he makes a check before, before, he, before he snaps the ball. He makes a check to the receivers. The dude runs the wrong route. He doesn't get the check. Bryce, I think it's Bryce Butler, and that's the guy that they signed. From the Raiders. You're right. If he gets that check, because if you see, Tony goes to throw in the ball, and he fumbles it because nobody's there. So then the, the rush comes. The rush comes, and now he's had he has to scramble. You know what I mean? So that injury could have been, you know, avoided. And that's the thing, like... You know, you bring, you know, that's one thing you bring in young guys, but at the same time, you bring in some veteran guys that really kind of understand, you know, the offense and know what's going on. Obviously, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, he's new, trying to learn, you know, learn, learn the playbook. But in that situation, it costs, you know, it, it, it cost him their quarterback. Wow, I'm definitely gonna have Rich hit you up on that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm guarantee I'm 100 percent right. I haven't even gone back to review it because I saw when, when it happened. I saw when he made the check, and then he went to throw it, and, and he felt the rush, but he didn't have nobody to throw it to because they had ran the wrong route. So that is definitely <clears throat> topic one A. We have um, <clears throat> some Tony sound where he talks about. The NFL is all about adversity from yeah. time with Brandon, but that would be the first thing you react to just personally how you felt when you saw the injury when you go into the play. Right. Um, and then uh, the process for coming back, that can refer to both Tony and to Des. Right. He obviously came back from a serious injury with the Eagles, got back very quickly. Right, right, right. Um, then maybe a little Jerry. Um, Rich will refer to this. Here's the quote. Uh, I feel just about as well as a crippled cricket's ass. I was feeling sorry for myself for the little picking on me. How could anybody be as bad off as me? I've had too good in my life. To, uh, but certainly, I, I certainly thought about Tony. How simply disappointing it is because of that condition. You have a personal relationship, obviously, with Jerry and how he's feeling and that handles these situations. Because uh, they've been through this before, Tony, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was there anything from that also that you were interested in that we should make sure to hear, hit you up on or maybe reflecting on your own personal experiences in Dallas? I mean, right now, like, it's doomsday. They're 2-0, and but it's right, like they're 0-2. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. It's like, it's, it's one of those situations you're 2-0, and but you don't feel 2-0. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, there's, because now it's, it's really like you. You, you literally have to take it one game at a time, and you got the whole season ahead of you without your your, your two best players. How do you overcome that? You talk about you know somebody you know maybe three right because Demarco's gone too. Oh well, yeah, I mean that's I think yeah that, there's a lot of that's a, a lot of big well, elephants start, in the room. They got, he went to Philly. Yeah. You talk about oh, yeah, elephants yeah, in the yeah. room. It's three of them. <laughs> it's a crowded room. What? Uh, then I don't want to kill it. So that that's that's the main topic of discussion. And then uh, there were some other topics that we we're going to kick around to. Just um, Rex Ryan. That is uh, okay. Obviously, didn't have a great week after talking all week. But I think they had a good they had a good showing though. They had a good outing. They didn't win, but it was close though. Well, I think uh, I didn't see close the, in the end. But, I didn't uh, see the game. Brady threw for four hundred and sixty six yards, which is the most that's a exciting. quarterback's ever thrown against the Bills. He really picked them apart. The Bills made a run late. Um, and then maybe how Peyton's playing <laughs> at his age. The, the uh, keys and yes. secrets to playing playing well at your age. Then do you expect a phone call from anyone? 
I, yeah, at the, at the rate the things are going now, I mean, I didn't really think about it, but sh I'm I'm starting to rethink it now. <laughs> Man, I mean, you think about really, I think. What is it, Brandon Whedon? Brandon Whedon. Yeah, I mean, he played well. I mean, I think you know, considering when he came into the game, he played. You know, he was seven for seven on how many yards, but. He played. He played well coming in off the bench, and you know. So now going into next week's game, um, you know, I don't know how much they're they're you know kind of tailor the game. Um, but it, I mean, it's it, it's going to be interesting to see you know where they go from here. Who do they got this week? Falcons. Yeah, so, I mean, this is this is going to be a good test for them too. That's a tough one. They're yeah. playing well. They're yeah. playing really well. Both of them are two and zero. Oh. No, they won. The Falcons are two and zero. Oh. Okay. Uh, right? Yeah, the Falcons are two and zero. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they beat the Giants this week, and then week one, I thought they played well. Let's see. They won on Monday night. They beat the Eagles on Monday night. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they both two and zero. Oh. Yeah, two and zero. Oh. All right. So we'll we'll take you out in a few minutes for a bump shot, and then cool. we'll uh, bring you out with Rich. Yeah, I'll tell Drew. Thanks, bye. Everybody. See you, see you guys. I might take you guys out there with me, you know what I mean? Let you guys see what's going sure. on. But that's how it goes down, you know, in the green room, talking to one of the producers of the show. Um, yeah. That's how it goes. Hey, honestly, man, shoot, that's an opportunity for you to go out there on that radio. Really... <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna throw no, I ain't gonna throw no cups at uh, uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. Hey Tio, can I take you out there? We're gonna have you go on about a minute. I know. How do you give me a Well, people, this is what I do. Lauren explains it all. You know. <laughs> ah, here we go, everybody. Going to the to the show, going to the stage. Y'all see all this stuff? This is like the Rich Eisen Wall of Fame. What's happening? What's happening to you? I am getting mic'd right now. Yeah, I am getting mic. Periscope, it's all hang with. No, this is hang with, not periscope. Oh, my bad. Lo siento. That means uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, yeah. I know a little Spanish. I'm not very fluent, but I know I know some basics. So, yeah. He's good. This is a nice set. What's up, y'all? That's Lori. She explains it all. I'm back. Baby, I'm back.
Look at Marcus Nash back there. He chilling. What's up? Like a club up in here. What up, BK? When you score shit, is in the field? What up? What's happening? Man, Tomo, what's up? Check in. Hey, you guys. You guys go to uh, go to Twitter. They got a lot of people. They got a lot of people here. So just uh, go to Twitter and uh, ask Rich Eisen and at Chris Law where to find the show what time to find the show we're about to go on here in a few minutes at 9 30. but yeah this is a nice set man it's like beautiful up in here you know what i mean rich eisen has made it you know sipping on my starbucks i didn't get cursed out didn't get called a monkey and none of those other bad words. Very uneventful morning getting my Starbucks, just FYI. Yeah. What's happening? There's the man right there, Rich Eisen. Yes. Y'all say what's up. Say what's up, Rich. You on hang Hello. Up. That's right. right. <laughs> this is us. We about yes. to go. About to go live. About to do it. We're, we're about good. to go live. Yeah. So we're about to fantastic. <laughs> what's up, man? Good to see you, T. Yeah. somebody to come in and replace uh, Dez. Um, they brought some other guys in. I did, you know, uh, have my agent reach out um, to see if uh, there was an opportunity there. But they obviously are going in, in, in the other direction. Um, but to me, it's, it's been a snowball effect. If you see it, you saw that clip there. Um, that, that could have been important. Terrell Owens joining you here on the program. So you had your agent called Jerry Jones? Um, I just told him to reach out because I knew that that was going to be you know, to have a, a, a loss like Dez Bryant, that, that's a big loss in itself. You think about the production that he's had um, since he's been, he's been there. Um, that's a big loss as it is. And now you have the loss of uh, uh, your, your starting quarterback, Tony Romo. Um, you talk about, you know, two two elephants, you know, in the room. Yeah. Uh, and how about three? Like That's like three elephants in, in an elevator. Um, you talk about you add Marco Murray uh, in the mix. <laughs> Did you see the on the side when was screaming about Marco? Hey, well, you know, you know, it, it couldn't have been me. If I would have been doing that, there's no telling, you know, I did. I mean, it would have been a headline. So let's let's get inside people's heads. Uh, what do you think is dead on his head? Yeah. Um, you, I mean, you didn't have the same injury, but you did have something of a lower leg, right? Well, actually, in my 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 rookie year, after my rookie year, I had a, a stress fracture in my fifth metal carpal, which is I think is the same. Yeah. Um, but it was after the season when I got. Um, Mine. So I had a screw inserted, um, but the thing is, you know, for, for that type of injury, it's weight bearing, um, and on top of that, you got to wait for the bone to heal. So I know when they said, you know, I guess 
the first guy went for like four to six weeks or something like that. I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's going to be definitely longer than that. Now you're looking at your eight to ten week um, range. And then now you talk about him getting himself back in shape. He has to be comfortable and to where he can't because it's, it's not like he's a lineman or anything, not really doing a lot of movement. But he's, a, he's at a position where he has to make a lot of cuts and he needs his feet, you know, to. Uh, to do what he needs to do. Well, you obviously know what it means to be a receiver, to be a receiver outside. Of the first place, guys, many ways. To be a receiver that's dependent on, and certainly one with a burning fire inside that's not, not still about. Uh, what do you think would be the pitfalls with Des Bryant with trying to make a comeback this year? Um, probably trying to rush it, you know, try to rush and get back. Um, you know, that's, uh, again, it's one of those injuries where it's, it's weight thing. It would be a different thing if it was maybe the arm or something like that. Um, but to do and play like he plays, um, it's going to require a lot of time. And so I don't know what he's doing as far as rehab is concerned. I'm hoping, I know this, the, the training staff is doing what they can. Um, but again, he needs to do whatever he can um, the right way to, 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 to heal as fast as possible. I know for myself, I'll be sleeping in hyperbaric chamber, mm -hmm. you know, on a, on a daily basis. What is that like? Um, it's not. It's not bad. It's uh. It's if you're not claustrophobic, you know, it's 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 good. I mean, again, it accelerates the healing process. Sure. And so, for me, you know, I ate healthy. Um, you know, during the course of my career, and I think that that's what allowed me to come back from a lot of injuries. Um, eating bad foods, processed food, it really, you know, uh, it hinders the the, the the healing process of injury. I'm here with Terrell Owens at Terrell Owens on Twitter, uh, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. So, what's going through Demarco Murray's head? <laughs> oh my God! I, I I can only imagine. He's like I, I I can only imagine what he's thinking. But I mean, right now, I mean, what, what would you do if you were Demarco Murray right now? What would you do after that performance or that scheme, if you will, against his former team and that day against? Him? Well, I think That's it's. I mean, it, obviously, uh, it, it it starts up front. You know, those guys up front, it, they should take a lot of pride. In, in, in what they're doing in their job. Because you can't have a guy that was leading rusher last year um, come in and he doesn't even have 12 yards this year. Um, it, it's, uh, it, it's pathetic. I think you know for somebody that's on the offensive line, they should have a lot of pride in themselves. Even the offensive line coach, they should be embarrassed uh, at, at the performance of their guys up front because that's where it starts. I mean, DeMarco can only do what those guys up front allow him to do. If they're not you know, moving guys up front, I mean, you know, they, they can have Percy Walker, they can have Bo Jackson back there, they can have, you know, Barry Sanders back there. Um, it, it's not going to happen. And I know, you know, DeMarco is pretty frustrated. And I'm sure he, it was very evident, you know, as he walked to the sideline. Um, you know, he was, uh, he had a lot of outbursts. But again, I'm sure he was probably rethinking, you know, some of his uh, off his off season moves. I'm like, man, what, what did I do? Should he go in to Chip Kelly's office <coughs> and say something today? Well, I'm. Uh, he should have been there last night. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, again, it starts up front. You know, no matter what Demarco Murray goes in there and says to Chip Kelly, you know, that's Chip Kelly's team. Um, uh, he shipped a lot of guys out of there, you know, to get what they're seeing on the field on Sunday. So it really kind of starts with management. You know, and works its way down. Um, the B, the product that you're seeing on the football field, the field that we see, that lies heavy on Chip Kelly's shoulders because I know he made a lot of off-season moves um, within the last two or three years, um, even from you know some of the interior linemen. Um, I think about you know some of the guys like uh, uh, Deshaun Jackson, um, uh, Shady McCoy. I mean, a lot of guys that you know that could probably could have helped him you know from uh, an offensive weapon standpoint. And even the receivers that are out there, I mean, it looks elementary. elementary. What did he learn? I mean, it just doesn't look like quality football. That, that team doesn't look like a professional football team. I guarantee you uh, there may be some top high school teams that could probably come in and compete against them. You really think that about the Dude, that, I, 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 I had just gotten off the flight and caught the last part of the game. Uh, not the last part, I guess, uh, around the second floor. I sure. guess Antonio got hurt or something like that. That, that, was, that was terrible. That was subpar football that yourself. So let's talk about you now. So again, your agent calls Dallas Cowboys and they said what? <laughs> I'm not sure what the, the situation is. I think they're, uh, you know, my 
my name may have come up in discussion as far as men and women, but again, a lot of people are going to factor in my age um, as far as why I can't play. And we all know what happened when I was there, and, and, and Justin King said, um, where it kind of made a fracture, you know, the relationship was between myself and Whitney and Amanda. Um, and again, you know, uh, time has passed, and hopefully, you know, they know that I've moved on beyond that, and maybe, hopefully, they have. Um, but for me, you know, it's all about giving you know myself an opportunity. That's all I really wanted. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the Hall of Fame. I don't really think about it. I'm very honored um, to be in such a, to, to be in such a class with uh, a number of people as far as the nominations are concerned. Um, but for me, I, it's you know, I, as I said, I, I don't really think about it because I know I still probably should be playing. You know, um, so for me, it's just uh, if, if an opportunity arises. And I'll entertain it. Um, and why wouldn't I want to go back to somewhere where I, where I know I feel at home? Um, I know the owner. Um, you know, I was there with uh, some of the guys that are still there. And yeah, I mean, you know, I love my time with that. So um, the, the <coughs> idea that if for eight weeks, ten days, whatever, that you would push back for five more years, induction to all of it, that is something you don't have any thoughts well, no, on. It, it, it doesn't really bother me. I, and, and, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very honored sure. you know, to, to, to be a nominee. But I, I never really played the game to, to, to achieve such an athlete. When I came out of high school and I went to UT Chattanooga, I had no idea that you know I was going to become who I became. You know, I was a thin, scrawny, lanky kid that really just kind of just progressed. I was a late bloomer. Um, and things just kind of just started happening for me. Um, I was all, I've always been competitive. Um, I wanted to play basketball. Um, I played three years of basketball. My, my, my years at co in college at UT Chattanooga, the best times of my <laughs> times in college was when I played basketball. Um, again, I never really looked beyond the collegiate level um, as far as playing professionally, um, playing football. Well, one of the things I love about having you on is because you're so honest and you answer any question asked of you. So that, that's my way of giving you a caveat to this, this question. <laughs> I appreciate For people who are out there listening to the show, driving around or watching it, wherever they are right now, and thinking, you know what, why should the Dallas Cowboys, in the middle of all of this, give a chance to, how old exactly are you? 41. 41 year old, who might blow up the locker room for some of that. Why should he, Jerry Jones, go ahead and do something like that? How do you respond? Well, for me, I, I'm not that same guy that I was years ago. And I know, you know, throughout my career, that there are some things that, May have, you know, not may, I shouldn't have said it. Um, and I think that comes with the maturation process. And for me, you know, I respect Jerry, I respect the organization. And, and me now knowing if there was an opportunity for me to, 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 to go back, um, I wouldn't want to rock those feathers. You know, I think, you know, for me, uh, I become wiser you know, as you get older. And, you know, that's never really been my, you know, intentionally my thing to go in there and, and disrupt any locker room. Um, sometimes my competitive edge, you know, gets the best of me, and you know, for me, I would have to really kind of curtail that a little bit. So, you know, as far as me being on the football field, I think everybody knows, you know, what they'll get. Um, and I think, you know, right now, um, Brandon, I mean, he has a job. You know, he has a tall order um, because, you know, they're in a locker room now. Um, that whole team, that whole city, they're two and zero, but they don't really feel two and zero going against uh, this Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons. Who, uh, are locked and loaded with all their weapons. They are so, you know, it's, it's going to be an inter interesting um, next few games to kind of see what kind of identity that they can come up with. To really kind of, you know, tie two things together. Carol Owens is right here in the studio with the six. Uh, and we'll come back have uh, one more quick second with you. Thanks for coming on the program. Absolutely. Anytime. More with Carol Owens. That's Carol Owens on Twitter right here. As y'all can see, they just went to break. And they'll be right back on. So I'll shoot. Uh, I'll put it back to y'all. I'll put it back to them in a second. They requested some footage. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. I took my ear out. You're there, Tech? Yeah. Hello again. Are we periscoping? No, no, no. We're no, we're hanging with. Oh, okay. At hanging with. At hanging with. I'm sorry. 
We're out hanging with. We're out hanging with. Yeah. Sorry, we're out hanging with. Right. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to come up with? Hang with. That's that's an apple and a I'm throwing on my line and saying, hang up. You know, starting to get some uh, get some more play. Throw the line about to come out here pretty soon. So they're getting ready to start back up so shortly. Is a, is a so, uh, uh, okay, I think they're about to go back on right now. So, let me put it back on y'all. Yeah, nobody really. You saw that when Tony got ready to throw the ball. Yeah. Nobody's. No, you're right. In case y'all wondering who it is, y'all can holler at me at Marcus Nash32, Twitter, and Instagram, and Facebook. No, that was the outside guy. It was the guy that they brought in. Guy at the top? And they like brought Bryce Butler and Fitzpatrick's community. That's who they brought in. It's actually a really cool studio. Let me show y'all this box. I didn't even know he had his own studio. So yeah, that, that was my second time there seeing it. Go. Welcome back to you. But that, yeah, that was my second time seeing that clip, and I knew what happened. We need to switch right spot up again. We got to stop the screen. Because I saw, you know, I'm, I'm a very busy person, so I saw Tony make the check, so I knew it was going to come in and call him. Yeah. Oh, no. Everyone wants to on the team, you know, their heads. I mean, look, it's the age thing, too. We know that. I'm not throwing any stuff up. No, no, yeah. I mean, 41. Yeah. How many, so how many, you wouldn't have to go through any conditions here, clearly. I, I mean, I mean, I'd be a little yeah. winded. I mean, I'd be getting myself in a little shape. So if you be in game, you game get, shape. You get a call today. You play Sonny? <laughs> oh, yeah, I could, yeah, I could give him a few snaps. How about this guy? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Let's talk about Herschel Walker is getting out there. Herschel Walker said he had 10 of them, right? Yeah, at age 53. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> By the way, he was, the, he was the last guy to sit in this chair, this Herschel Walker. Oh, really? Yeah. He said 53, give 10. He at least returned picks. At least. Okay. So what What do you get? 20, 30 snaps? Uh, I guess I'm thinking, okay, let me see. When I played, I averaged something like maybe about 70, 75 yeah. snaps sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I give you about at least a good 30. Good 30 for some. Yeah. I'll, yeah Against the Atlanta Falcons. Good 30. The 50 and beyond. You'll get there. Yeah. That's what people are talking about. Yeah. I mean, Red zone. Did you have your agent calling in every season? No. You know, he knows I he knows I'm 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 you know staying, you know, somewhat ready. You know, okay. just in case. Would you would you ever play in Canada? Uh no, I haven't really thought about it. No. Might want to He's he's yeah. domestic he's domestic. He's domestic in other states. He's domestic. Well, I mean, it's, it's NFL. A, if the money if the price is right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> time for our the last segment here? Uh, we're going to have about three minutes. Got it. Yeah. Actually, less. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. What's up? Y'all follow me at Terrell and y'all follow my man right here at Rich Eisen and at Rich Eisen Show and at Chris Law too. Yeah, Chris Law's got it up right now. He's got it up right now. I think he pulled it up. I got it up, up. actually. I'm watching it right now. It up. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. We're going to really trick you. Go back there. Show go back there. Show him. Watch him. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> We're back in 10 seconds. Is that what you said? Yeah.
Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. I'm Terrell Owens, spending a couple uh, more minutes with me here on the program. I've always been extra. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you spending as much time as you want here. Um, we're, we're seeing some young guns in the NFL right now. It's not just the whole Calvin, et cetera, et cetera. We're seeing Odell, right? And we're seeing Odell Beckham, I guess. Julio Jones. Yeah. Who's the best receiver in the NFL right now? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, you think about what uh, Antonio Brown is doing all the way oh, up gosh, to the Almost that 200 yards of Yeah. Well, yeah. Steve Smith didn't do bad either. Oh, with the Ravens. You know, he had like a 10 for 150. Larry Fitzgerald had his first three touchdown game of his regular season career. Oh yeah, that's yeah. These guys are you know letting everybody know that you know we're not we're not old yet. You know don't gotcha. okay. don't count us out. But yeah, you, you, those guys that you mentioned. Um, but one play, one play. The wide receiver. Got to get that first down. Got to get that score. Something. Who's the one receiver? Okay, I got to go with Calvin Johnson because he's a big body. And you throw it in anywhere in the vicinity. I mean, he's going to make that catch. I mean. You know, Odell, I mean, he has the fame now and stardom, you know, with that one spectacular catch. But, I mean, he is doing what he's doing to piggyback that, and that's being more productive um, for his team. Uh, now that he's just started winning some ball games. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm viable. I'm ready. You know, maybe give me a week or so to get myself into some game shape. I can definitely – I can be of some help, you know. Definitely. Deal. Thanks for coming in. You are welcome here anytime, sir. Appreciate it. You, you know, bet. I need a job, Rich. I need, I need a job. I, this is a show within a show. I right like here. it. A show within a show. That's right. We're back with more here. 844204, Rich. Let's talk with you when we come back. And angry. That's the man right there. Jerry Jones should just call him up. Put more butts in the seats. Bring some excitement to a situation where the fan base is a little disappointed. That's the answer to a crippled cricket's ass that he's feeling lower than right now. <laughs> oh, man. He's like, Tio, what's up? Like, that's how loud he was in the in the Starbucks. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm right here. I'm like, why are you talking so loud? I just want everybody to know that Tio's in the building. I'm like, dude, for what? I'm not trying to. Why are you doing this? Well, no, you have yourself amazingly well. Yeah, so, like my to friend, you. bro, he just called her. He called her a bitch to everything. And I'm like, dude, you're being disrespectful, bro. I'm like, you can't just go around just talking yeah. to people like that. I'm like, People are in the in the store. I'm like, dude, you're interrupting. He's like, fuck, stars. That's all he wanted you to do is say, like, that's all he wanted. Oh, that's, that's all he wanted. Oh, yeah, he already said that. But I was like, Jeez. dude, if he would have put his hand on me. Yeah, yeah, no, know, it's different. Yeah, well, kudos story. to you, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, man. Good job, man. That's how I think about it. That's it for the Rich Eisen Show this morning. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys are good. How about them cowboys? Hang with. Oh, man, I'm getting made up. Is this yeah. song? That's right. Oh, oh man. Up. Come on. No. Yeah. Yeah. Embrace it. I love the makeup. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, it feels good, too. It feels good. It's relaxing. He puts it on at home when he's not here. You get the whole head done, I get everything. I know. He's his whole dome done. So Look, man. This is, how, this is how it's done. It's show business right it's here. Yeah, show baby. business. Awesome. I love me some me. This is awesome. I love me some Okay. That's it. Boom. I appreciate you guys. I am signing out from the Rich Eisen Show. I had to take that one, but yeah. Man, y'all look at this. Rich Eisen. Look, they don't look too happy. Cousin doesn't look too happy. Neither does RG3. I'm just saying. Yeah.
Oh man, what's up everybody? <clears throat> oh man, I might have to put that cowboy helmet on, you know what I mean? Might have to might have to put that helmet on. Real. What's up? Everybody, what's happening? I see we got a lot of Cowboy Nation up in here. Rich Eisen Show, when will it air? I don't know. Uh, Y'all check, um, uh, go go on Twitter and uh, go to the at Rich Eisen Show. Y'all question, uh, yeah, shoot them a question and ask them, um, you know, when is this going to air? I know I'm about to go on in like seven, like in seven minutes, six minutes. Thank you, Laura. I'm trying to look, you know, trying to look the best I can, you know what I mean? Trying to look the best I can. Got to get myself in some shape. Get these hammies right. Got to get these hammies right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all got to tune in to the Rich Eisen Show. It's about to get real. Yeah, hey, it's about to get real. Man, quit calling. People quit calling me, man. They're in my broadcast. Man, I'm about to, I was balling out for a second. The way he fell, though, it didn't even look like he got hurt. But he just broke that shit like six years ago. So oh, damn, he want them damn shoulder pads on? But he's on, or he fall, dog. He, the way he fell, though. You didn't even want to put his hands out. He just took the ball. I am back. Hey, what are you saying? I'm back. I keep, uh, my bad. I keep getting damn calls. What's up? Drum rock. What's happening? Laura. Hey, Laura. How are you? Yeah, we back. We back up and running. Yeah, man. I keep, keep getting phone calls. Keep getting phone calls doing my broadcast, man. I'm, whew. Man, they need to quit. But that was an important phone call. So